Hi, my name is Nina. I'm a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach. And this is a calf workout. All you're gonna need for this workout is a chair and a mat. All right, so just go up and down. One heel up, one heel down. Pull your shoulders back and down. And you're going to do a slight pelvic tilt. So not like that, like that. That will engage your abdominals. So we've got several muscles working at the same time. And actually you can go ahead and squeeze your arms back so you can work your upper back while increasing mobility in your toes. Just a couple more. All right, so the first exercise, we're gonna do the hardest one first. I don't wanna scare you away. So we're gonna start with single leg calf raises. So you can put your foot anywhere you want as long as it's one leg is off the ground. If you wanna do it this way, that's fine. So let's go with, this is three, four, let's do 15, five, six, seven, eight, you can do it here, nine, 10, you can cheat by pushing up, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, shake that out. Other side, and up. Try not to use too much, just a little bit. Some people just do little two fingers. Three, four, five, six, and with two a little more. Seven, eight, nine, 10, five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bend your knees. So we're gonna get, we just hit the gastrocnemius, which is the larger calf muscle. Now let's go ahead and hit the soleus, which is the smaller calf muscle. And we're just gonna go up and down. Whoop, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna go up and down. Two, three, four, knees bent, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to do our, have our feet parallel, and you can hold on to the chair if you want. So toes pointed straight, do that pelvic tilt like I showed you at the beginning, keep those abs engaged, and just raise up and down. We're gonna do 25, this is three, but we're gonna change the cadence a little bit more. I don't know if that was six or seven, eight, nine, 10. Go all the way up on those toes. And now we're gonna do 10 quick ones, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, whoo, burn. All right, let's go ahead and put those heels together, toes out, do the pelvic tilt, engage the abdominals, go straight up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go all the way up, nine, 10 and five, four, three, two, one, burns. All right, do a little, little teeny stretch. Make sure that back heel is all the way on the ground. Your back is straight. If you need more, just hinge forward more. Other side, calf stretch. Again, push that heel into the ground like you're smashing a bug. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do toes together. You might wanna go ahead and face your chair for this one. It's a little harder to balance on this one. Again, pelvic tilt. Shoulders back and down, and look straight ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 10 quick ones. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and whew, let's do a stretch. my legs or my calves cramp up super quickly. So I uh, do calf stretches 
when I feel that or in between uh, calf sets. All right, so now we're gonna do like a little hop. So you can do this with a chair or not. So I'm just going to, just gonna do a hop with that one leg. Two, see how high you can go. So you're not using your leg, you're really using the calf. Three, four, five, six, we're doing 15, seven, eight, nine, 10, and you got five more, and five, four, three, two, one more, great. All right, we're gonna go to the other side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Got five more and five, four, three, two. Last one. One. Great. All right. Plie. Squat. <laughs> Pelvic tilt. Hold on for balance. <laughs> Kick the cord out of the way. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna go up and down. Two. See if you uh, maybe can you do it without holding on. Three, four, five, six, seven. Put your hands wherever you want. Eight, nine, ten. Let's do five more. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's do five bonus ones fast. And five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Awesome. All right, let's do another calf raise. We're gonna put one foot in front of the other. So my heel is by my toe at an angle. Now you don't have to do push your knees too far out, which is called a turnout because I don't want you to hurt your knees. So just go wherever it's more comfortable for you. Hold on, I'm gonna go up, down, two. We're gonna go for 10 on each side. I think this is four, <laughs> five, six. Again, go all the way up, seven. Squeeze your butt at the top, eight, nine. One more, 10. Switch, other foot in front. Again, squeeze that butt, engage the abdominals, and one, two, three, four, five, six, four more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Stretch that out. We're gonna do a stretch for the soleus first with bent knees. Both feet are flat on the ground. And you can even do a little bounce if you want. Just make sure this knee isn't caving in. They're both at least straight or maybe even externally rotated just a little bit. Let's switch. And you can do a bounce if you like, if it's too much, otherwise just sink into it. Okay, now let's stretch out the gastronemius. So again, foot flat on the ground, really squeeze that butt cheek that will make that leg straighter. Do that pelvic tilt, engage the abdominals, lean a little bit forward. This knee is bent. And then if you need more of a stretch, you can lean more forward and push further into that knee. Just if you lift that foot up, that heel up, then you're releasing the stretch. So really, really push into it. That's what's great about a, a chair. If you're doing calf stretches, you can push into it. So really get that heel down. And I can eat, even lean a little bit more forward. All right, let's stretch out the other side. Get the cord out of the way. And Stretch out that other side. Exhale into it, don't hold your breath. Drink lots of water. Really push that heel down. Squeeze that butt a little more. You'll notice if you squeeze, this leg tightens up. So it might even make it a little bit too much of a stretch. So then you might even wanna back off a little bit. 
but just go by how you feel and go ahead and just rotate the feet you can even go one way then the other way rotate one way then the other way and try to take off your shoes as much as possible our shoes are pretty much like casts for our feet um, your feet should be able to move so whenever you can take off your shoes let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also make sure that bell is on make sure to tap it and check on that because if it's not you won't get any notifications whenever I publish a YouTube video. So go ahead and also check out my other videos. Hope to see you again real soon.